Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Laura. On behalf of the OLPH Roses, we want to wish our community lots of health, happiness, and hope during these difficult times. As we celebrate a little quieter this year, we hope that this time next year we will be able to share this celebration with our community once again. Please take care of yourselves and have a very Merry Christmas. Joyeux Noël. Feliz Navidad. Besoeshriant. On behalf of the Secular Franciscans, we want to wish the community happy holidays. During these difficult times, we pray for the light of God to surround us, the love of God to enfold us, the power of God to protect us, and the presence of God to watch over us. May God bless us all with light, love, peace, and joy for 2021. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all. God bless. Good evening. I'm Joyce Shanahan, former president of the Shattergate Senior Citizens Group. And on their behalf, I would like to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. May the light of the Christ child bring joy and happiness to us and may it forever shine in our hearts and in our way to you and to all of us. So I say, stay calm, be good, God bless. Thank you. Hello everyone at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Parish. I'm Brenda Shanahan and I'm here on behalf of the Hospitality Committee. You know, we're the ones that when you come into Mass, we're checking your name, taking your contact information. We're making sure that you wash your hands and that you have your mask before coming inside. So I just want to wish you a happy, beautiful, peaceful, and wonderful Christmas. We'll see you, if not in person, we'll see you virtually, and a happy new year. Hello, everyone. It is my pleasure to bring you greetings from the Vandernap household on behalf of the Quebec Provincial Council of the Catholic Women's League of Canada, alongside Jasmine Zutini, our own parish president. 2020 has been a difficult year for all of us. It was to be a major celebration for the Catholic Women's League of Canada, our 100th anniversary, to be celebrated in Montreal. It all began here 100 years ago. But that didn't stop the Catholic Women's League from celebrating. Across the country, from sea to sea to sea, hundreds of trees have been planted to commemorate our anniversary. And this is very appropriate since our current theme is caring for our common home, our earth. I don't have to look very far to, to discover the rich heritage of our parish. On my own Christmas tree, I have this 50th anniversary decoration celebrating 50 years of parish life. And you probably all have this one as well. Father Victor brought this from the Holy Land and gave, a, gave it to the parish children. We've been very blessed. I have my morning coffee in this mug from Father Robert all the way from Uganda. We are a very lucky parish. And until we can meet again in person, I think we should let the light of Christ shine through each and every one of us. And so from my house to yours, on the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ, I bring you tidings of goodwill, good health, peace, and joy to each of you. Let your lights shine on. Merry Christmas. My heart is full of love and thanksgiving to our God of restoration for this year of great privilege in serving you in his name for the faithfulness and generosity of our community and for your continued support and prayers. From my home to yours, may Christ be born anew in each of our hearts and may Christ be born anew in the world through us. Merry Christmas. Good evening. I'm Betty Mulroney. And on behalf of the Altar Society and the Eucharistic Ministers, I wish all parishioners of our wonderful OLBH community a blessed and peaceful Christmas. 
God willing, this will soon be all over and we can gather again in prayer. God bless. Hello, my name is John Lanigan. I'm the sacristan at Our Lady of Perpetual Help. I just haven't been feeling well lately and I just want to thank everybody for their prayers. I get better and I did get better, so thank you. Peace and blessings upon you and I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you a blessed and happy new year as well as a joyful Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, Jerry here. You know, this year, I'm missing being able to sing with the whole choir. And I think I'm really gonna miss that thunderous, joyful sound of the whole congregation singing together. It's really an amazing thing to hear and, and experience and feel. I find it very moving. I think a shining star in this difficult year has been that we've been forced to slow down and simplify our lives a little bit. Being together as a family with often nowhere to be and nowhere to go has it's been a blessing. It's really been nice. And as tired and, and, and anxious as people are, I'm, I'm seeing kindness and caring and that generous spirit, so many shining through. And that gives me hope. On behalf of Music Ministry at OLPH, we wish you a peaceful Christmas filled with love and hope. And I look forward to singing again with all of you as a community. Stay safe. Merry Christmas. This is Family Affair wishing you a Merry Christmas.
Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> On behalf of the members of Faith First, we pray God fills your lives with love, joy, peace this Christmas Eve. God gave his greatest gift to us on the first Christmas day, and may the wonder of it always guide and light our way. We, we want, want to wish you everyone, everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hello, my name is Bradley. And I'm Rodney. And on behalf of all the choirs here at at all page, we want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone who has been affected by this pandemic in any way. With all that said, thank you very much for everything you do in our parish. We really appreciate having you with us, and we hope everyone stays safe during during these times. Bye. All right. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hi. I'm Jacob. I'm Euphemia. I'm JC. I'm Corey. I'm Bradley. And I'm Rodney. And this is the Ayafo family. Now, this year has been very challenging for all of us, but as we celebrate the birth of baby Jesus, may your homes be filled with the hope, joy, and love of Christ. On behalf of all Africans, we would like to wish you all, our OLPH parishioners, a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year 2021. By the special grace of God, we hope to get back to our regular activities soon. Merry Christmas! On behalf of the Caring Connection Campaign, we just want to wish each and every one of you all the best for the holiday season. Wishing you lots of peace, joy, and whatever your heart desires. This was um, actually a new initiative by the church this year. Uh, there was over, I just want to say thank you to the 50 plus volunteers we called out into the community. It was a great way to stay connected despite all of us being isolated at home and not being able to gather on a weekly basis at the church. Um, it was also a great way to um, uh, renew some friendships and meet some new people and create that sense of community and as well be able to identify if there was any special needs that we could address um, to be able to help people. And remember, 2021 will be an awesome year. Just believe. Just believe. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! Hello, I'm sending you a message today from the Catholic Women's League of Canada, OLPH Parish, right here. Though we haven't been able to get together in the past year and we miss each other, we're hoping to get together soon in the new year. At this time, I'd like to recite the League Prayer. If you know it, you can recite it along with me. We humbly pray you, O God our Father, to bless the Catholic Women's League of Canada, bless our beloved country, our homes and families, send your Holy Spirit upon us to give light to our minds and strength to our wills, that we may know and fulfill your great law of charity. Teach us to share with others at home and abroad the good things you have given us. We ask this through our Lord, Jesus Christ, and the intercession of our patroness, Our Lady of Good Counsel. Wishing you a blessed Christmas and a happy new year. Thank you. Hi, Austin here. Hey, it's Jen. We're the young adults from OOPH Parish, and we want to wish you warm hopes in these uncertain times that we could come together in our Lord Jesus Christ. Wishing you a very, very Merry Christmas. Hello, my name is John Lanigan. I'm with the Secular Franciscan Order of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Just calling to give you a Christmas message here. I'm reading it. On behalf of the members of the OLPH Secular Franciscan Fraternity, we wish our community a blessed Christmas, made bright with the light, love, and joy of Christ. And in the words of Pope Francis, as we contemplate the crib, let us gaze upon the open arms of Jesus, the merciful embrace of God, we hear the voice of the child whispering to us, peace, and peace be with you all. Amen. Hi. With the members of the Parish Men Association, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Healthy New Year. Hi, everyone. On behalf of the Pastor Home Care team, we'd like to wish you a blessed and holy Christmas and a healthy and happy New Year. We miss you so much. God bless. Good news, good news, Jesus is coming, good news, good news, Jesus is coming, good news, the good Lord is coming, born for us in Bethlehem. 
On behalf of the African Choir, we pray and hope that a lady of perpetual community is staying strong and safe. Courage to those who have been victims of this pandemic. We also pray, hope and long to be able to gather again once more to praise, glorify and worship the Lord as a community. Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year to each and every member of this community, full of joy, peace, love and unity. Clementine and family on behalf of the African community. Thanks. Dear parishioners of Our Lady of Perpetual Hell, in these challenging times, I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. May the infant Jesus bring you health and happiness for 2021 and fill your hearts with, your, with his tenderness and love. May God bless you, bless your families, and also your parish. Good evening, everyone. My name is Mark Varelli. I'm the chairman of the Board of Wardens here at OLPH. I know it's been a difficult year for many, but as a parish community, I think we've come together and with the help of all of our volunteers, we've been able to succeed in accomplishing many great projects. We finished the insurance uh, claim for the roof repairs that occurred just over a year ago. In conjunction with that, there was some roof repairs that we did over and above the claim to ensure the longevity of uh, our parish and our church as a structure. Some of the other projects we've managed to accomplish through grants from the government are the IT projects so that we can reach our community and reach the parishioners at home or in isolation, allowing them to view and be part of the celebrations that we have every week. This is a continued project we're going to continue to offer throughout the new year and in the future. The most recent project we accomplished was being able to help 125 families in our community through the Food Basket program. And I look forward to launching a capital campaign in the new year in order to help with much needed building repairs and maintenance in order to make the parish something we're all proud of. So on that note, I'd like to wish everyone a healthy and prosperous new year and a Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining, and children are
On behalf of the Knights of Columbus, we wish all the parishioners of OLPH a very happy and safe Christmas and a happy, prosperous New Year. Hello everyone. On behalf of our pastoral planning team, Father Juan de Jesus, Jess Augustine, Jeanette Comerford Kassouf, Elizabeth Fanning Daziel, and our award and liaison, Mark Farelli, I'm Sheila Keenan Gutierrez. We would like you to thank you all for the opportunity to serve you throughout this very interesting year. <laughs> we had many goals when we formed this committee just about a year ago. However, in mid-March, as most of you are aware, we totally pivoted to focus on finding ways to keep this parish active and able to pray together while our doors were literally locked. So I, at this point, I really want to thank all of our youth ministry team, especially our young adults who have definitely stepped up to train us and help us to learn technologies that we were totally unaware of. And without them, none of this would have been possible. So on behalf of our uh, pastoral planning team, we want to wish each and every one of you a Christmas to remember. We know that many of us will, uh, will find this Christmas different. We hope that this evening will help you to feel united in prayer with all of your OBH friends and family. I was also asked to, to on behalf of the Memorial Bequest Fund Committee to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas. Although we haven't been able to meet in person, we've continued to be active keeping in touch with each other by email and phone, and making sure that the many initiatives that we support every year have continued. For example, our first communicants receive beautiful rosaries, and our confirmation candidates will receive their Bibles on January 6th, the Feast of Epiphany. One OLPH tradition is that our squires and roses and their families participate in preparing the Christmas painting. This year, with the current restrictions, obviously that was not possible. So instead, we challenged them. If you were creating the Christmas painting, what would it look like? So we hope you enjoy the results. So God bless you all. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Joyeux Noel. Buen Natal. I'm calling you, come unto me. I will reveal every secret. I promise that I'll set you free. I'll give you the peace only I can bestow. Reap your reward by the seeds that you Hey, hello, I am Jim Keenan. Happy Christmas. In the fall of 69, I was proposed by Father Clarence. We met in this church, sat in a pew, and looked up at the altar. And he said, I want to do something behind the altar for Christmas on that gray wall. I need to cover that gray wall. And after that, I had to do a lot of research to figure out how we were going to do something that was 20 feet by 40 feet. And, and then when we figured, all figured it out, that was the start of the Christmas tradition. And then with the help from my family, friends, nieces and nephews, we continued this for many years. Also, some of the young artists at the time, like Patrick, young Patrick Dunn and young Mike Savaki, also helped with the design. They were also members of the parish. The painting did not happen for a number of years. Over, over the years, people were, were, the parish were asking to bring it back. In honor of the, the 50th anniversary, Christmas 2013, we were asked to bring the tradition back, thanks to Derek Williams. Ed Colton and Catherine Hooper. And through our youth group, many other families and numerous young people have become part of the tradition. So this year with the pandemic, with the help from my grandson, Ronnie, we keep, keep social, just we, we did the painting. I am the light, come follow me. Come follow me. Come follow me, come follow me.